Let's take a closer look at the Apple menu. As we said before, it's in the upper left of our desktop display. It will always be there, regardless of what programs or other applications you may be running. The upper left is always where we're going to find the Apple menu. When you click on it, we have a number of choices from the drop down list. First is about this Mac, which gives us more detailed information about the computer itself, maybe a bit techy in nature, but if you're curious about your CPU, your memory, your hard drive, this is the place you'll find that information, along with the serial number if you need it for anything for reference to Apple themselves. System preferences is going to be the most popular area within the Apple menu. We can find all sorts of different areas in here to make adjustments and tweaks to our particular computer. Next, we have location, which discusses ways to look at our network connections to our computer, wired and wireless, and some other things you can do there. It does get a bit technical. The App Store, just the name implies, that we're going to go ahead and find applications or programs, as they're called, that we can use to enhance our experience with our computer. Recent items is programs we have used recently, so we can quickly access and log in or click on to get those programs to open up. Force quit is used when a program is acting up and is not behaving correctly. We can stomp it out with force quit. Next we group together, which is sleep, restart, and shutdown. As the name implies, we can kind of pull the computer back if we're done working on it at the time. Last but not least is to lock the screen. Your active session is still there, but you get back to the lock screen, which requires the password to get back in. And then last but not least, log out staff to simply log out a particular session with this computer.